Alright, so back in with another video. And before we get into this video, I want to ask you guys a question. So since I haven't been able to push out full videos like this constantly like I was, so I got a lot going on. So what I'm gonna do is I got these minute videos that I be filming on TikTok, and sometimes I just film from my regular phone camera and I'll post on TikTok. I'm gonna be posting that on here. So do you guys want me to post that on here when I'm not posting, or will you guys just go over to TikTok and watch it? Drop in the comment section, let me know. All right, so I know in the last video, I did that kitchen build, and I noticed right here is a whole separate house that I'm doing, but this bathroom build is to go along with that kitchen. It's just, in that house is not enough room to do this bathroom that I wanna do. So I'm gonna do it in this house right here, but this bathroom build does go with that kitchen in the other house. But let's go ahead and get right into this build. I got an idea in mind of how I want to do this bathroom. And it's going to be a pretty big bathroom. So that's why I decided to just go ahead and do this in another house. So first thing I want to do is just go ahead and paint in this bathroom. Um, I'm not going to use the same paint that I used in this hot in that house. But I'm definitely going to use white paint. This is the one with the more modern look to it. And I want to go with that in the bathroom. Like I said, this, kit, this bathroom does go with that house kitchen. It's like a match to it basically. So in the bathroom, I'm wondering, do I use the same floors that I use? in the kitchen or do i use these like tile floors right here these are wood they're considered wood floors but they look more like tile floors than wood floors so i think i'm going to use these in this bathroom i'm not going to use the wood floors once i'm done if i don't like the way it looked then i'll go to the wood floors but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna like the way it's gonna look first thing i gotta do is get the white cabinets like we did in there i'm gonna just place one right here and then i got this little i seen this little design on the internet and i was like oh this will go perfect with what i want to do with that kitchen so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna build like a little thing it's supposed to be a cabinet in between the two vanities but what i'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put a square in the middle of them basically. So that will be the um the cabinet that's supposed to be in between them. I'm gonna just go ahead and get me another counter and place over here. Um should I make this too wide? Because I feel like this is a little bit too thin. So I'm gonna make this too wide. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Let's just go ahead and slide this down. I'm gonna just bring this down like this and slide that in like that and just add the counters like that. All right, so that looks perfect. And with this, I want to paint this a different color. I want to do something different with this little thing in the middle. That's supposed to be a counter. I'm not going to put no door or nothing on it. But this is supposed to be like a cabinet. But instead of using a cabinet, I'm going to just use a wall. I want to do something different with this. Should I paint this this color? I kind of like the way that looks with the floors and then the cabinets. I think we're going to go with that. So the next thing I need to do is just go ahead and add my sinks in these vanities. Um, This is going to be a sink build hack. So it's not going to be functional right now but you can possibly make this functional if you raise these sinks up through a basement and it's something else you got to do to make this functional but i definitely know that you have to raise these up to a basement to make it make it functional which i never do because with my sims builds i'm not really looking for the functionality of it i'm looking for the looks in it so yeah none of them are really functional but they are nice looks so let's just raise that up and just slide it in the cabinet like that and y'all can't tell me that doesn't look nice so that's why i always do my builds based off the looks instead of the functionality and for the mirrors on this i've really been de debating on three different mirrors i was debating on this mirror right here first but i don't see this mirror in like a brownish color i would hate to use black because is that brown okay that looks like brown i can't really tell if that's brown or not it kind of looks brown but at the same time it doesn't i was debating on that or the little circle mirrors which i don't think i'm gonna use because they, those are not big enough or i was just gonna use the mirror that goes across the whole wall Maybe I use these right here and then maybe I put some little lights above them or something. I'm not sure. Let me just go ahead and place this on the other side. And then while I'm building the shower and stuff, I'm going to think about what kind of lights I want to do. Usually I do like the little lights for the island above them. But I think this time I want to switch it up. All right. So my little design for the shower and the tub and the toilet room is this right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a room in between where the shower and the tub is going to be. So just put one there like that. Y'all think that's a little bit too long. Uh, Maybe we push that in one. I'm not sure how this is going to work with this other room, but we just have to use our imagination for now to be for real because I need to just put a toilet in here, but I know it's not going to be functional for the Sims. That's the problem. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and put the toilet in there for now and then I'll figure that out. I'm going to put a nice little door here like that and boom. 
So what I was thinking is I put the shower on one side and then I put the tub on the other side, which I'm thinking the tub should go maybe here. So I'm gonna just get, I was thinking about using the round tub, but I always use that tub. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this tub right here and just put a little half wall around it like this this one right here add some little half wall trimming and whatever like tile i decide to use i'll put that maybe i'll use the one that i use here on this like this well oh, i feel like that looks nice and we'll just put that on that back wall also so the tub i'll do the tub like that and then for the shower i'm gonna have to do a little custom shower i don't have the pack with the shower head in it so this will not be a functional shower but it's definitely gonna be a nice little design so i'm gonna just go ahead and get the half wall trimming on this put the same thing on here and probably just go ahead and use this same little tile thing right here on this wall too I don't think I'm going to use this all throughout the shower. I think I might use on this back wall and then on the side walls, which I am going to build the wall back here. The side walls, I'll do like a different kind of tile. So I'll just go ahead and put that there like that. And then here, I want to put a glass. So I'm going to have to place that there and raise it up oh this is gonna go out so uh maybe maybe we just put the glass there and remove the wall i feel like that's a better design yeah maybe we just put this glass here and then remove this wall even though i really wanted to do the half wall there but it's all right it'll be all right and then on this back wall i use a different like towel or something maybe i use something like this or i want it more of a white so maybe something like no, nah, I don't want the same design in there. Definitely want a different design. So maybe I'll use this on the back wall. I like the way that looks. I kind of like the way that looks. So we're going to do it like that. And then, of course, I'm going to just go ahead and build this wall back right here like that. And we need to add a nice little door here. I'm not sure if this bedroom will be the entrance to a master or not. So I'm going to just add a big door, something like this here. This looks like it'll be a master bathroom. So just add that there. And boom, my bathroom is basically complete. This is the design I had in my head and it kind of came out the way i wanted it to except for this i thought this window would have been a little bit smaller and it would have been able to fit a half a wall but apparently not but i need you guys to drop in the comment section and let me know what y'all think of this bathroom design i really like the way this turned out i'm definitely gonna go ahead and change that window i'm probably just gonna use something like this right here like that but yeah, y'all drop in the comment section and let me know what y'all think of this bathroom design i really love the way this turned out but i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video peace